Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about a story that has been uh, a few weeks in the making, even though it just kind of hit the news cycle. Um, we'll talk about that story. We will talk about the resolution to that story, how it was totally foreseeable, and the expectations that are placed on kids. Okay, so a few weeks ago, about three, I guess, according to reporting, the superintendent of schools in Rising Star, Texas, was at one of the schools and uh, went into the restroom where they removed their weapon and left it in, in a stall in the restroom. The, the weapon was discovered by a student, I want to say a third grader, who luckily did the right thing. Went and told the teacher immediately. Didn't touch it, didn't mess with it. Good on them. The teacher then sent another student to see if it was real. Um, I think it's safe to say mistakes were made. But that student also didn't mess with it said it was real. It was recovered, and luckily, nobody was hurt. Now, according to reporting, the school didn't tell anybody this happened. The media reported on it. Parents were understandably upset, and they made their voices known. The superintendent has resigned, which is probably the appropriate uh, response here. Um, now the superintendent has resigned, uh, obviously understands the error, so I don't want to come down too hard on this, but there is one quote that I really think we need to, uh, kind of pay attention to. This is one of those examples of guns in schools, regardless of who takes responsibility, they are a considerable danger. And one should school their child to be on the lookout for any unusual placement of a weapon or anything out of place. They are a considerable danger. And one being left unattended, that is totally foreseeable. I believe it's been discussed on this channel. Um, the acknowledgement that it is dangerous. That's good. That is good. Um, I think there are a lot of people who do not understand the danger. I would imagine that the reportedly pretty short period that the superintendent was without their weapon, um, I would imagine that during that time, the realities of that danger became very clear to them. Uh, so that acknowledgement, it's good. It's good. However, one should school their child to be on the lookout for any unusual placement of a weapon or anything out of place. I mean, yeah, sure, that's true. Um, but I do not think that it is fair to expect elementary school children to remember their training when the adults cannot. The idea of arming teachers, it, it's, it's been a bad idea since, since it came around. And there have been a bunch of near misses. This is just the latest. The acknowledgement of somebody who reportedly carried their weapon every day, that it is dangerous. I really hope that that hits home with those who support this idea and see it as, as a fix for the problem. It's not. It isn't. And the, the expectation that children should be on the lookout for unsecured firearms in a school if, if that doesn't signal that this is a really bad idea, 
I don't know what will. There have been quite a few incidents like this. Um, and so far, we haven't seen anybody hurt. It would be great if we could learn the lesson that, that all of these near misses are trying to teach us. This isn't the solution. The solution is a change in the culture that surround firearms. It's a change in the way people look at them. It, it, it's acknowledging that they are dangerous. They're not a prop. And the good guy doesn't always win. And the good guy might even forget their weapon somewhere. And it lead to tragedy. It's a near miss. Near misses should be teachable moments. This isn't the solution. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.